Welcome to Specific Love. Today I'm going to show you how to turn an old tree into an awesome set of fence posts for my driveway. Let's begin. Now this is the tree we're going to be using it on. It's a large old cedar tree. It may not look that big from this angle, but let me show you how large it is. Now here's a different angle of the tree. As you can see, it is leaning quite profusely in that direction. And if you look right over here, you can see the roof of my house. So we need to get this thing cut down so it does not fall completely and destroy the house. To cut this tree down, I first started by delimbing it to hopefully control it better when it started to fall. We used a combination of a homemade tree pruner, a pole saw, and a rope chainsaw before getting the big chainsaw to cut down the trunk. This was a slow process, but I definitely learned a lot along the way. I then let the wood sit outside in the hot summer sun for a couple of months to help reduce the water content. And finally it was time. So I chose the largest piece and started cutting it into quarters. This was a slow process, and if your wood has been sitting in the dirt for a while, be prepared to sharpen your chainsaw more than once. Also using wooden wedges to keep the tree from binding on the saw is a good idea. Who knew there'd be a nest of ants in a cedar tree? Interesting. And guess what time it was again. I then had to cut the halves into quarters. Now to try and shape some of this wood into the fence post that I'm looking for, I'm gonna try using a draw shave or draw knife. It has a couple different names in which you just pull it towards yourself and it just pulls off a chunk of wood. Let's see how that goes. Now we moved all these pieces over into the shade to make it a little bit less, well, sweaty. And I'm gonna use a chainsaw to knock down some of these big edges so that we can uh, hurry up this process. Okay, the chainsaw is handy and some of the tools are handy, but ultimately since I'm trying to shape these into somewhat looking like a fence post, I'm gonna have to revert back to the draw shave and uh, well, it's gonna be a lot of manual work. I got really tired of being on the ground, so I got an old saw horse. We've lined these up so it should be sturdy enough and uh, it is a heck of a lot easier to work with. Now if you plan on doing this, it's a good idea to go ahead and take your measuring tape and measure out exactly how long you want your fence post to be so you don't overwork yourself. I've marked here at four feet and at six feet so that I know that I want these fence posts to be about six feet long because I want them to stick about four feet above the ground. And it's a good rule of thumb to bury about a third of whatever your fence post is gonna be into the ground so it's nice and sturdy. Now that we have the wood pretty much in shape, it's still kind of bulky, it's still kind of rough, but it's supposed to look like the old antique kind of fence post. So I think we're happy with this. Now it's time to go dig some holes. Whew. All right, whenever you're digging, especially with a post hole digger, there's a good chance you might hit some real sandy ground. If that's the case and it's getting real hard to get it out, just take some water, pour a little bit in the hole, and it should be a lot easier to get out. Now to get these somewhat level, we're gonna do two different things. We first hooked up some paracord on here and just a couple different levels because we plan on putting chain across, but this will give us an idea of where to not only put the holes, but to make sure everything is in alignment. Also, I bought a nice heavy duty level so that we can get an idea of what the difference is in height across the driveway. Now I'm gonna post across the driveway and you can see that it is so much higher compared to me. But actually, if you take the level and you measure it from the short one, this is actually still about two to three inches short from an actual level point. But it still just doesn't look right. So we need to hack this down just a little bit more, maybe about another foot, so we can get them about even, at least in appearance sake. Now that we have the wood cut to the right height, I did just want to remind you that this is from a cedar tree, and cedar is naturally rot resistant. If you're using any other type of wood, it's a really good idea to put some kind of an outside coating, specifically the part that goes into the ground, so that it is less likely to decay over time. Now to make the holes in a post, I'm gonna use two different tools. First off, I need a hole saw and a drill. Now, I need a heavy duty drill. You don't want anything lightweight because you're gonna use it a bunch and you don't want to burn it up. Also, the hole saw, well, most hole saws do not go very deep. So, I'm gonna have to use this in combination with a hammer and a chisel. Now, you don't have to have a fancy chisel as long as it can hold a decent edge and you can hammer it in and pry with it, it should work.
Now we designed these holes in the chain so that the hooks would lay on the outside of the post so we can hang some stuff from it. Now once I get this chain to the length that I want, I'm just gonna use a long nail to go through here and that will allow for future adjustment. The great thing about having a hook on the end is the ability to hang up some decor. Whether you want to hang up a bucket or a little milk jug, have some artificial flowers, or just anything else you'd like to have, you can just hang it right here and you can change it out whatever season, whatever holiday is coming. A couple more ideas you can do with the post is one, you can add a solar light, which is pretty simple. Just drill a hole dead center and insert it in place. Also, if you're real artistic, you can turn this into a sculpture, some kind of a carving, and turn those posts into really cool ideas. And that is how I turned an old tree into an awesome set of fence posts for our driveway. Now I have some other videos right over here, so you make sure you check those out. Otherwise, have fun building. They're artificial that we don't have to worry about worrying about worry about worry about worry about bleh. Gunshots, okay.